Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Canteen Manual System. I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, and Angular. I am using MySQL database. On the Spring Boot site, I am using the STS, the Spring Boot tool suits for developing the application. Tomcat version, I am using Tomcat version 9. And uh, JDK version is 1.8. And uh, for MySQL, I am using MySQL version 5.6. On the Angular side, I am using Angular version 12. And uh, also HTML, CSS, and some of the JavaScript files packages I am using uh, in this project for developing it. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project. For port, uh, I am running a Spring Boot on port 8080 and Angular port on 4200. Right. So let's start with the functionality go through. That what we have developed. What are the features available inside this project? So the project title is Canteen Memory System and it's a mini project developed in uh, Java Spring Boot and Angular with MySQL database. It has only and only customer operations. There is no admin login in it. If you need it with admin login, there is a project called Canteen Ordering System. You can watch the video of that. It has admin login as well as customer login, right? That is a major project, right? So once you run this project on localhost 4200, then you will get this page, right? You can see this is a simple page. It has been developed in Bootlist Lab theme. So there are some products coming on the home page. So you can see there are eight products coming on the home page. And these all products are coming from the Spring Boot API, right? From the MySQL database. So there are eight products available in the MySQL and it's running to the Spring Boot API, right? And Angular is consuming it and rendering here, right? If you click on the buy now, then you will be able to see the details of the product right if you click on the add to cart then you will not be able to add or buy any item without login right if you don't have the user id and password then you can register so this is the home page this is about this is static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is all food items so these all food items are coming from the database as i told you earlier this is a customer login from here customer can login and customer can purchase the foods or customer can buy the food items the, this is the registration if you don't have user id and password then you can create your user id and password from here and after that you can order the product for that the food items and this is a contact and this is a static contact space there is nothing dynamic on it right so we are not saving the value of this contact us anywhere even we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page now i am going to log in as an customer so the user id is amit at the red mail.com and password is test once i click on the submit then you will get this dashboard right here all the things are same there is a my cart currently there is no item into the cart that's why it's showing blank this is a my order section from here you will be able to see all of the orders which you have made earlier right? if you click on any arrow item then you will be able to see the order items of that order right this is a my account from here you will be able to update your account details right this all are pre-filled so if you want to update anything then you can update from here now i am going to order some of the food items right this is all food items buy now add to cart so one item i have added into the cart then food items buy now add into the cart two items i have added into the cart all food items buy now add into the cart Three items I have added into the cart. Again, one more ammo by now. Add into the cart. So four items I have added into the cart. Now I want to delete one item. Just this one. Just click the delete button. That item will be deleted from the cart. If you want to continue adding more items, just click on the continue shopping or checkout. Once you click on the checkout, you will get this payment page. Here you need to enter the credit card details and the name. This is a static page. We are not making any type of real time transaction, even we are not validating the things here. Right? You can enter anything what you want. So I am printing some any data here. Right? And card type. Sorry, month, right? Make payment. Once you click on the make payment, you will get the receipt of your payment, right? So this is the 301. And these are the food items which you have ordered. Total amount you have paid is 1400 rupees. If you want to print the receipt, just click on print. If you want to see the order history, go on the my order sections, sorry, my order sections, and then 301 will be displayed here. 
So you can see it's displaying here. Once you click on the print receipt, then it will be printed. The last thing is the logout. Once in the once you click on the logout, then all of the session will be expired and the above admin menu will not be displayed. Let me show you. I'm click on, on the logout, then you can see the admin menu is not displaying. My administration menu is not displaying because it's running according to the session. If I log in, it's displaying, right? So these all functionalities we have developed inside this project, Canteen Management System. And as I told you earlier, this is a mini project developed in Java, Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL. So if you need any enhancement, any extra feature in this project, just put it into the comments. We will incorporate those changes. We will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.